engine. Uh, you know what? Just for fun, let's see what code I set. Camshaft A actuator circuit main one. Yep. All right, let's see how this is gonna work out. Uh, Toyota Yaris, I think it's a 2009. We've got a new alternator and a belt once upon a time. And a customer states that uh, on startup, first start in the morning, the belt makes a squealy noise. Again, so uh, it's my turn to investigate what the dealio is here. Starting the Yaris. Powering on. Should not work. Okay. Uh, why? <sighs> what is this? There, steering wheel lock was holding it up. Uh, what do we got? 104,220 miles on the odometer. Starting the engine. I didn't hear it. Hmm, okay. To the service stall with us. Let's see if the belt noise occurs when the AC system is actuated. Mm, negative. Let's try it. This is good. Okay, onward to the circuit. There we go. I hear it now. Oh, that was great. Here, let's catch this before it goes away. Oh, wee little Yaris engine. Oh, and the sticker says this is a 2006, and it's a 1.5 liter. Now we know. Lumens. All right, so here's our new Nader. Uh, let's see, it looks like we're only running one belt. I don't think I see a power steering pump here. Is this electronic? That makes this kind of weird because it did it when you put a load on it for the steering. But if the nader is uh, not tight, the belt's a little loose, having extra electrical loads would cause it to, uh, to squeal. Very possible. Let's give it some throttles and see if it squeals. how tight this belt is. It feels pretty good. Now it was communicated to me that this belt is new or been replaced, but I, I see some grooves worn into the smooth side of it. Let's pull this guy out and just uh, see what kind of condition it's in. Reverse clickage. There's no automatic tensioner on this. Yeah, you, you pry bar the alternator out and that's supposed to set the belt tension. A little warm already. Come here. Stop doing that. Got it. Okay. Look at these grooves. I disapprove. What, what is this? Yeah, for something that's new, it doesn't look very good. I'm gonna get a new one, another new one. A Beta one. Okay, several moments have passed. I've acquired a new belt. Uh, it's a different brand of a belt. That may make a difference. This thing appears to be uh, kind of temperamental. But uh, just to introduce a new variable here, I thought it best to just put a new one on there. So we're gonna fit this belt, and then I'm gonna make it tight, and then we're gonna go drive it. Then we're gonna make sure it's not squealing, and then we're gonna give it back. That's my ideal plan, but you know how plans are. Yeah. Wow, round two. This is strange. Let's see, this one goes under the water pump. I know y'all can't see, neither can I, I'm doing all this by feel. 
think. I think I, I think I have it wrong. In fact, I know I do because there's no way there's enough felt here to make that fit. I know you don't flashlight. It tried it again. My hat touched it. Okay, the belt is now on. Let's tension it. Here, let's pull this connector out of here so I have a little bit more space to play with. I'm just gonna get behind the nader with the pry bar. I didn't actually need to pull that connector off. I thought I did, I thought wrong. So anyway, I'm manually making this tight by prying on the alternator, like so. That feels good to me, so let's go ahead and lock her down. Oh, I slipped. Fail. Let's try this again. It hit the ground, no worries. It feels nice and tight, I like it. Now what I noticed when I took this top bolt loose is that bottom one down there was actually not very tight. So we're gonna go down there and lock that one down too. Click. Okay, restocking the engine. Let's see if this noise is gone or what the deal is here. Hey, so far so good. Get a close up, Mr. DeVille. Yeah, running through. All the pulleys look straight. I think this is uh, gonna work out. Okay. Now this thing has deceived us once. Remember in the parking lot when it didn't make a noise and then all of a sudden it did? So we're going to have to go drive this to verify that it's fixed. Need to click that back on first. There we go. All right. I'm dumb, I left that connector unconnected. Why? My morning brain has not worn away yet. That was completely unnecessary. That's okay. See, scan tool powering on. Beep. ECM powering on. Engine. Oh, uh, you know what? Just for fun, let's see what code I set. Camshaft A actuator circuit bank one. Yep. Oh, you know what? Fun exercise, real quick. See, we know this is a a false code, so to speak. Let's see what the I call this the uh, what everyone else did menu. It's a sub feature on a Snap-on's network that it gives you the most popular repairs for any specific code. And uh, this one, as per the graph, says they replaced the variable valve timing something something. Replace variable valve timing actuator, control, sensor, etc., etc. Yeah, so it told me to replace parts because the code was there. That's why uh, you really want to shy away from using those little features. I know All Data has them, Mitchell has them, uh, obviously Snap-on has them. But you don't want to base a diag off of such things, like we just pointed out right here, that may not necessarily solve the problem. For example, if this had a bad connector and it came in with that specific code, there was a connector issue, this computer would tell me to replace the part. Well, I could replace the part and it uh, has no effect on this affected system. Lights off.
Yeah, so we don't change parts based on the what everybody else did feature. Okay, hold on a second. I've got to pause and, uh, and stop editing because I really need to point something out. There is a phenomenon known in the automotive repair industry where we would say it comes in waves. Uh, oftentimes you'll see a, a series of very similar repairs or similar concepts show up. Uh, for example, right now I keep getting Chevrolet trucks left and right. You know, I've, I've had six or seven of them in uh, the past uh, two weeks or so. And it appears that that phenomenon has expanded into automotive YouTube videos. And I say that because yesterday, the day that this video was shot, I watched a South Main Auto Channel video where Eric O was talking about Identifix. And he says, it's not just for lazy technicians. Uh, the title of the video is called Service Data Does Not Cost, It Pays. In recognition of this strange phenomenon, I would like to send you guys over to Eric O's channel after you watch this video. I will put a link to the video I just mentioned down in my description. Let's see if our squeaky squealy noise has gone away. Full load on the engine. AC. Audible warning to pedestrians and motorists. Na, 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 click it or tick it. Well, so far so good, no squealy noise. Let's do a full turn all the way over. Give it throttle. The idea is I'm trying to put as much load on the belt as possible. Now, although it does not have uh, hydraulic power steering, the electricity required to operate the power steering rack requires just as much energy as the hydraulic system would perform. And since there's no hydraulic pump, all that energy has to come from the alternator. Full speed ahead, Captain. Hmm, I wonder if that's my next customer. Alrighty folks, uh, I know that this video was kind of short and sweet, uh, it is what it is, there wasn't uh, too much in-depth action that we were going to find ourselves in today, it was just a squeaky belt after all. I mean, it could have been more, we could have found a, uh, a pulley that was uh, you know, locking up or had a bunch of friction, we could have found an alignment issue with one of the pulleys, we could have found a broken harmonic balancer, there's, there's a pile of things that could have caused this, um, as it turns out it was just a crappy belt. Anyway, before this ramble ramble goes down a particularly deep rabbit hole on some random off-subject tangent, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out right now. Uh, I'd like to thank you, of course, for watching this short video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, you know the drill. Tap, tap that like button down below. Drop me a comment or two while you're down there. If you didn't enjoy it, really sorry. Can't do anything about that. It is what it is. This is what I do here. <laughs> so, uh, again, and as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourself a great day. See you guys later. Ending transmission now.